Hey, welcome. I have a very special offer today. It's been a long time. I haven't done this in years, years. So I want to go ahead and um, read something to you. And this is about a new, really new, and actually quite inspiring essay contest. Yeah. See, you could win a salvage chapel on wheels. We're going to have an essay contest, but not just any essay contest. He's going to offer you a chance to participate in building it, to learn how through seminars that essay contest entrants will win a chance to come to, and to help pick out the pieces, work on the designs, and learn how to create a tiny Texas traveling chapel. Wow. So you can become a Wedster. A Wedster is somebody who goes out and does weddings on the fly to your ranch, to your home, to your farm across the USA. I plan to create chapels that can go away and come back. Effectively creating businesses where somebody could put their dually on the front of the trailer and take a trailer out to a place and drop off a chapel. You may stay there for a while. You could have a wedding. You could have a baptism. You could have a ceremony. Lots of possibilities. Now, how? The question is how? <clears throat> well, first of all, You don't have to be Superman to write an essay. Last time I had this contest, would you believe 350 words, $50, and we gave away an incredible house. It's called the Essay Contest House. And I'll have pictures of that, and um, you'll get to see it if you haven't already. This is going to be different. This is going to be a chapel. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read to you this article. You can go see it yourself as pictures and a few others that I just pre you know, presented to the public as a series. Yeah, I'm good at that. I create a lot of stuff. Now, I recommend, first of all, in case you lose this connection, go to tinytexashouses.substack.com because that's how you're going to find out the details about how to enter at one of three levels. There's a $100 level entry, there's a $200 entry, and there's a $150 entry fee. But what it gets you is three different questions and three different possibilities for results. Everybody who enters effectively can win, but it's a test of skill who writes the best essay and who wants to participate in getting hands-on to help build it. Because if you can learn how to build a chapel, you can learn how to build the tiny house or anything else. So the people who enter it will have the opportunity to come for the seminars at Ridiculous. Like, free? Yeah. Because you entered the contest. So we can go ahead and help teach people. That's the first level. And you'll get to come for that. You'll get to also participate in winning some stuff. But the second level, you actually get to participate in booking weddings and taking out the church, the chapel, and to actually make some money on it. Yeah, so the second level at 150, you get to learn how to run a Webster business. Now we're going to help. We'll go ahead and help take you through the course of learning how to build it and then how to haul it and how to, we'll help you book some um, weddings or you want to go ahead and pretty much do this yourself we're going to help you through the process and you'll have the chance to take it out for three weddings or have three weddings here at Salvage Texas as part of your win as one of the finalists and the winners in the $150 level plus you might get to use it for your own wedding or your daughter's wedding or your son's wedding or three different weddings as your prize yeah Instead of going out and finding somebody else, you get the benefit. And we have other houses here, so you can, why not? 
have a wedding and have houses here and there's a park nearby there's river games there's oh disc golf and there's a park all sorts of things to do close by so you can have a wedding and you can get everybody from Houston from Austin and from San Antonio all over to Salvage Texas to have a wedding in a chapel salvation through salvage chapel that you can help build yeah get your fingers into maybe even leave some blood on i hope not but a little teeny hang a little big drop that way you can say you're part of it you know now you can't read that it's backwards ah it says fearless leader just in case you don't know i'm fearless mm -hmm. And I have a good growl. Hmm. But don't be afraid. I also have a lion's mane. Don't be afraid. I'm here to help y'all. So I'm going to read this, believe it or not, instead of just talk. But I wanted to brief you before I read it. For those of you that are going to stay a little longer, considering I'm only six minutes into this, you could actually learn how. You could enter the contest, and at the highest level of $200, you could actually win the chapel. There's some conditions, lots of conditions, because you can't enter it if you're not 18. You can't enter it if you live in certain places, certain countries. They won't let you win it. They won't let you play. It's a game of skill, which means you have to go ahead and enter. You have to write a good essay contest, and we have to judge it to be the rest of the time the best. Not just, oh, you paid to win. No, you didn't. You paid to be able to enter and to be part of all these things you can do. Building the first one. And the second one is going to be the winner of the first contest, $200. Because he's going to get to come, or she, or they. They're going to get to come here and then we pick out the parts together. We're going to have an essay contest. They're still going to have two more levels. Again, the first level, to come work, to participate, to learn, um, to become a part and have a chance, yes, have a chance to open up your Webster service with your traveling chapel. And then you can go out to weddings and you can go out to these events and you can make money in your area, but also help people because guess what? There might be another emergency. And if they do something like they did last time, you might want to have your chapel show up where you can have your ceremony and pray together on private property without anybody getting in your way, if you know what I mean. You know, I must say, I, I'm not an advocate for masking my concerns. Okay? And let's just say, I'm not a jabberwocky kind of guy, if you know what I mean. I believe I have great faith, destiny, and fate. Now, shall I read? Because you might want to enter. I'm going to look up there because that's where I got it. I don't have the super duper teleprompter with the little thing in my ear like, you know, those kind of presidents that can't talk. So, I'm ad libbing. Oh, I'm sorry my main. All right. You could win a salvage chapel to take out on the road. To make so many people happy, some will write an ode. Odes to the traveling salvage chapels spread throughout the land that go to those who want to know there is a way to send a message to the one on high that proves we love God so. Guess what? These little chapels should be about eight foot wide and about 16 foot long and under 13 foot five high so we can travel around and take them out into far reaches of the outer spaces outside the city maybe even in the city maybe into hoas why because there may be loopholes that means you get to go ahead and carry them in as portable buildings as a trailer as a utility building, if we need to separate it from the trailer for the purposes of getting around, loopholing around the rules for a few days, 
but it'll be designed so that you can come in and you'll actually see on the sides it has fold down benches to cover up the ugly tires, which I really abhor. Or we'll have it so we can roll it off and just take the trailer away. Because you may decide to sell your little chapel. And you'll have that option if you built it. But for the first winter, they can take it, they can sell it, they can do a whole bunch of things. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Two hundred dollar entry fee, five hundred words this time, guys, and that means you got up to five hundred. You don't have to use all five hundred words, but you can't go over, reasonably over, five hundred words. Now, I know for a lot of you that seems like a lot of words, but for me, I type ninety thousand words a week at two hundred words a minute, and being held back to five hundred words would be like shackling me to a hot stove. Arr because I can't stand to be that brief. So, there's gonna be an option B on the length. See, if you wanna spend $200 and you got something to say, you can't say it in 500 words. So I'm gonna give you more space. So the $200 entrance, they get to go up to a thousand words to tell everybody why they wanna be the ones to actually get the chance to pick out from some of the church windows I have. Beautiful windows. And to pick out the wood and the beadboard and the siding and the doors. And then we're gonna have seminars to build them here with the owner being able to be part of the build, out of the, part of the construct. And the trailer that it goes on, they have an option maybe whether they wanna get a trailer or not. It doesn't come with a trailer because they're designed to go on a trailer and off a trailer. Why? Well, if you want to sell it, so it wants to give you thirty-five, forty-five thousand dollars to leave it there, you might just decide to leave it someplace, and they get to write off a portable building and depreciate it as part of their bed and breakfast operation without paying a fifteen percent bed and breakfast tax for a portable building that they rent out. Not bad. Loopholeology in Texas now. The first people to win have to be in Texas to win. That doesn't mean they have to live in Texas. No, you don't have to live in Texas. You have to come to Texas to get your prize because technically you're in Texas. You can win, just like the lotto. You can win it in the state you're in. You can't necessarily win it in the state you came from because some places don't want you to win anything for any reason. I don't know why, but Texas, this is a test of skill. Judges who actually can write will choose who the winner is anonymously. Anonymously. So how is this going to work? All right. All the people who get charter memberships or charter subscriptions to the tinytexashouses.substack.com or instead of using that service, want to go ahead and submit their entry fee through Salvage Texas, which is where everything's going to happen at 111 Salvage Way. It's actually next to it's Luling, Texas for post office 78648. Now if you zip that into your little computer, it'll tell you where we are. Right down the way from the newest, biggest buckies in the world for the few moments that it'll hold that status in Luling, Texas. And they're tearing down a Bucky's to put up a 75,000 square foot, 350 employee Bucky's at the next exit. Guess what? I'm glad it's not my exit. But because that's happening and because things are changing, I want to go ahead and run this as a fundraiser. And if it works, we're going to do about, oh, maybe four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chapels and start businesses for people that you can actually come here, pick up the chapel, take it out to the place you got the wedding that you booked. You get to make money because you're in the 150 class of essay contestants who want to have a business but don't want to go the full nugget and buy a chapel. But you'll be able to use this, let's call it a uh, collection that you'll be able to help build of chapels. Whoa. Kind of like having custom cars. You come in, custom trailer, we slip it on there, we lock it down. And you're loaded for bear. Take it out to the woods. You can have a bear wedding. Nudist colony. 
I don't care, really. I'm actually fond of nudity. I was born that way. How can you not be fond of the way you were born? I don't know. Anyway, point is, this is about how do you stay healthy? How do you stay youthful? Praise your God. Treat your vessel with great kindness. Make peace within. The final battles will be in the minds of men. It'll be because their hearts, their instincts, their chakras aren't lying down. We got to get over that. How do we do that? Well, this is all part of it. So, all who get a charter subscription, which is about two hundred dollars on Substack, or two hundred dollars if you pay them the fee to get in, and then once you're in, you get your anonymous ID. You get to pick it actually too. You get to pick your name that you want to use attached to your anonymous ID so that your name is actually never known. Because I don't want to know who you are. I want to pick the winner based on the writing, the energy that it gives. Um, in fact, it's going to be an option where you can both write it and then if you wish nowadays, articulate it. Speak it. Maybe the combination of the two will give you an edge. If we feel your voice, well, maybe that gives you an edge. Or maybe it tells us, oh my God, he should have been drinking so much before he, uh, you know how it goes. Maybe not. I mean, drinking. This is actually water with creatine and electrolyte sticks, which I highly recommend, by the way. If you want to stay healthy and full of energy and have your brain working good. <clears throat> and I'm not selling it. But, I'll tell you what, if I was, that'd be the stuff I'd be selling. So, for the moment, I'm going to go forward here and read a few more things. It's really pertinent that you know. I've actually told you most of the things that are in here. So, it's very important. If you go ahead and get your subscription, you'll get every email that tells you what's going on. And also, oh yeah, by the way, September 15th, that weekend, we're going to have a special meeting. A special meeting is going to be here at Salvage, Texas. But also, I'm going to try to figure out a way to Zoom. So all the people who have entered and have their ID by September 15th, they don't have to write it. They don't have to complete their essay contest entry yet. Because they all get a chance to come to the Zoom meeting and be part of the seminars of both how to design it and how to build it. Now, not everybody's going to be able to come. We're going to schedule it through Christmas. And probably include the Christmas vacation period through New Year. So that that way people can come here. Instead of going out and buying trees and killing them and putting them in the living room and starting fires in their houses and all the other things that seem to happen when they drink too much and have battles. And If you've read, um, by the way, the book of Wibbley and Wub. Hmm, goodness. I don't know if the chapter's on there yet about Christmas, but I think it is. <laughs> Not pretty. But sometimes... Some places, God, Christmas can be so beautiful. I had some of them with my son, Adam, when he was a child. That's what makes Christmas great. Children, you haven't got any kids. It's kind of hard to justify putting up a tree with a whole bunch of stuff on it and have to take it all down again when you're as busy as I am. I'm not a Christmas guy. But for those that are, we will have this as a Christmas present to you, for you, and you'll be able to come here and go swimming, cold plunging. No, it just to be warm. In fact, the canyons should be full. You can go fishing on the time you're not working. You'll be able to go ahead and learn things about hardware and about glazing windows and about how to put windows and jams and sashes together. I've got seminars on this in the past. All this is included in here. I'm reading it to you. Do I look like I'm reading? I am. Winning is a blast from the past with an essay contest that will get you weddings and nights to retreat in Salvage, Texas. In a chapel you own part of, yes. You cannot lose, but win more, and possibly partial ownership in a chapel. You also have a chance to win one of these creation series just for your own. If you get into the $200 category, be able to do longer essays, 
and be able to do an audio. Wow. You might be able to do a duet audio because it's an entry, not one person. It could be a whole family. I'd love to see families making businesses out of setting chapels up for weddings. And if you got five kids, you can pay for a rolling chapel. Yeah. <laughs> By putting the kids to work doing weddings at other places. Hmm. That might just convince them not to get married quite so fast. Uh, but it also might get them somebody to marry faster because something about being at weddings makes everybody all mushy and want to get married. And I kind of stay away from weddings. Um, had three marriages. Not necessarily weddings. That's another story. Darby's story, actually. Oh, the first one was rough. One minute before it closed, the justice... Never mind. Okay, back again, by the way. Learning to be on staff. Um, you could be on staff, do some volunteering and helping out, setting up tools, learning how to do that. If you haven't done it before, um, that's a chance to kind of be one of the staff members. If you're doing an essay contest and one of your goals at the bottom level, $100, is to learn how to do this. To learn how to take part in maybe building one so that you could establish a pure salvage outpost and build... My goodness, why not? A chapel is the first project for the pure salvage outpost co-ops that I see going up in small towns where the elders bring their tools together and meet with people and teach them how to do this. And when they pass away, the widows um, donate the tools to the co-op so that it grows. It grows that dream, that idea, that thing that you want to give life to. So, next question. How? How do you join this game of skill? Well, first of all, you need to get a subscription, preferably a paid subscription. And of course, if you get the least paid subscription, pay $100. You can pay more than what it says minimum. But if you pay the $100, you just paid for your contest. It's part of it. So then you get not only the emails, and you get 640 articles on how to build houses and how to do everything you want to do about establishing an intentional community and to be able to get healthy to youth. At 68, I can tell you a few things about that. Okay? And what not to do. In fact, I'm getting my first tooth ever in my life pulled. Probably in a couple weeks. But since I have all the rest of it, including my molars, that's my choice. I don't want to have a pin put in my mouth. And it's all part of living naturally as much as you can. So at this age, I can give one tooth up. Otherwise, take care of your teeth. Make them last to your my age. And then another 30 years? Because even then, at 110, I'm still going to want teeth. I bet you do too. And since I know and I've seen people live to 118 years and still go out there and do their Qigong routine in perfect, flawless, performances such as is done then I have to go me too I want to do that one day wouldn't you so it's not just about how do you build a house how do you build a chapel how to salvage it's how do you salvage all those buildings those houses those chapels and your body and your life and build something incredible with that yeah and you're looking at a guy that had a broken back at two and a half, had scoliosis all my life. I'm born with Marfan syndrome. I got deformities, bone deformities. I've got a big old upper abdominal hernia that I refused to get an operation on many years ago. I'm a naturalist. I like having my feet on the ground or my leather shoes on the ground so I get the energy of the earth and ground. Why? Because I never had this before. I never had the muscle tone. I could never do Chinese playing push-ups on my fingertips. This is how I got there. This is what I want to teach you. Not only how to build the tiny house out of all natural materials, sustainable, no toxins, no new plastics, no vinyls that give off endocrine disruptive compounds that mimic estrogen. When you breathe it in and put it in your blood system, in the air, in a tiny house at night, Okay, 24 minutes into this, but this is worth it, guys. You can watch a lot of crap out there, but you aren't going to watch something with the opportunity to learn how to create a new life for you, how to salvage your old body, 
like mine was, broken and in pain and scoliosis. And do an hour of workout on a mat a day, learning to balance, learning to know your body, to be able to bend over and kiss your knees eventually, eventually. Because if you told me I was going to do the splits at this age easily for fun, just to show up, I'd have said, you're crazy all my life. I'd have said, you're crazy until I did it. I was 59 years old and all of a sudden, 60 years old, it was like one day I just suddenly did the splits. Hey <sighs> man, trust me, that's one of those days when you're sitting there looking and going, how can that be? How do you do that, by the way? Incidentally, this is a copper container for water. Good water, filtered water. Now, on top of that, it's got um, shungite. It's a, it's a rock you can get from Russia, and you put it in there, and it puts carbon-60 into the water. Why is that important? These are all things that help you stay young and vital. These are things that let me go ahead and type 90,000 words a week at 200 words a minute while I'm listening to lectures with the other side of my brain. They're telling me as I'm going along about epigenetics, and even better, optogenetics. Did you know we now understand and have proof that the green light therapy I used on my shin to heal 14 inches of second degree burns in 10 days no scabs no really hardly any scars and you can see that video someplace i'll show it to you no painkillers none green laser amazing what that does these are all things you can learn besides and you can during your seminars yeah we're going to have some evenings where you can actually play some songs for those people who don't do music and have campfires and have uh, the weekends when you get to come out here and work on the seminars and possibly during the week when you can stay in the houses we already have built a bathhouse showers so you can camp out and we're gonna have this through the winter so it's actually be cool enough so that all you northerners yeah you know, I like 106 degrees kind of actually 101 90 80 great but not 35, not 25, not anything in the teens. And when you go below zero and you're still up there, personally, I think you got to screw loose. Unless you really got some warm clothes, a good place to tuck in, lots of good warm fuel, and you are know what you're doing. But you get out in that car in a snowstorm like you're going to be having this winter and next, you even stay under a house with 50 feet of snow. You're crazy. Just be aware. This is all preparation for what's ahead. You're gonna have a chance to build intentional communities because the old communities will get crushed. You're gonna have a chance to start over because there's gonna be a lot of people that aren't gonna make it. I'm just telling you what it is. So, this is how you can get around it. First, pray. If you don't have a chapel, why not have one traveling? Nothing better than having a traveling chapel with somebody to bring it to you who's not bringing you religion and forcing it down your throat, but bringing you a place to honor your God. No denomination in particular I'm after. I'm actually going to make some that are going to be Ayurveda oriented. We're going to make some chapels that'll have basically different perspectives because it's perspicuity. What is your perspective? That's what makes all the difference. Now, if your perspective is that you have to be the only religion out there and you're going to kill everybody else, I'm not making you a church. I'm not sending a chapel to you because we got to all get along. Now, I'm not sure how we're going to do that. That's a mystery. But somehow the world has got to figure this out. It's time for us to acknowledge other beings exist and they all deserve rights. Hear that, China? There's some other places need to know that too. America, dictates don't work. Democracy as it is supposed to be is not a farce. As we see it today, I will argue it appears to be a farce. So with the ability to have transparency, the world can see all things now on the internet. And this is all part of it. I'm providing something where everybody can see us do this. This is a chance to come in at $100, at $150, at $200 and support a project. 
believe me, all this money is going back into it. I, I live in a house with a 24 volt fan, DeWalt fan is my air conditioner. I have no running electricity or water in my house where I sleep at night and wake up in the morning happy as I can be, healthy as I can be on a bed that swings from the ceiling on ropes. Millions of dollars didn't buy me that. Actually about $35,000. That's what it cost me for the labor to put together my Temple Tantra. It is my symbol of a middle path. What is it like to not get carried away on drugs like I did when I was young, or, or sex, or gambling? Uh, there's so many things that we can get distracted with and carried away on. I swear, I watched five years, five years of TV that's if you sat in front of it every hour of the day, that's how much hours I spent in my life before I finally broke the habit. Yeah, one of the addictions. There are many. It might be your phone, it might be the internet, it might be gaming, it might be alcohol. <coughs> cigarettes, I don't smoke cigarettes. It could be something else though. I, I don't smoke other things, but then We've learned now that things that used to be illegal, THC, CBDs, things like that, help relieve pain. Oh, there's all these things we thought were wrong, but we were told lies. Lies. Why? Because Big Pharma didn't want us to have the natural ways to stay healthy. Now, I believe in staying healthy with turmeric to help kill the pain. Yeah, ginger. Um, cayenne pepper. Uh, there's lots of things that you can take that make life better. Vitamin D, vitamin C. Ah, hey guys, all these people had that nasty thing called COVID, a cold, an elaborate cold, or flu that you couldn't handle. Guess what? You need to take better care of yourself. Yeah. And guess what? All those people got the vaccines and wanted me to get them and kept griping because I wouldn't. One of my most popular articles on Substack. Yeah. It's about the vaccines and the fact that an employer is an employer. I would shut it down. I did. I'm not going to have any employee that has to make a decision based on me having to tell them they have to have a vaccine. And the ones that had the vaccine, they come back in and infect everybody else with the exosomes. What you breathe out with spikes on it and other people breathe in. That turns out to carry spike proteins with it and is dangerous to some people who have issues with spike proteins. And I have talked to more than a dozen personally of people who were damaged for life by the vaccines. And the ones I didn't talk to that died, well, let's just say there's a reason for these chapels. Did you know you can have in Texas a cemetery on your ranch or your farm where you can bury people naturally together still to this day yes it's part of my perspective on having an intentional village where you have your own intentional cemetery and your own place to go ahead and raise children and to rest the elders when we leave to keep us all together now how much is in the contest? Well, you can enter it for $100, you can enter it for $150, you can enter it for $200. And if you get that money sent in by September 15th, you'll be in the first meeting about how we're going to do the writing and all the things that you get to do between now and Christmas. So there's lots of time to get your essay complete. And during that time, by being an entrant and having paid <clears throat> in advance, to put your entry in and then participate in all the opportunities and also by the way the discounts. I am going to offer up some packages because I have extra windows and doors so that we'll have a package for a chapel and we may have some people want to build it so that you might be able to commission a chapel Wow, of your own special creed, breed, style. I like gypsy wagons, personally. And then, get the materials, the package, and the space magic design. And if we have the group that wants to do it, maybe for 10000 or $15,000 in labor, yeah, those people who want to do it get to split that 
up. It might be 10000 for labor and 5000 for pieces and parts, screws, nails, insulation, things like that. And then your package of materials. And you might spend, well, that's hard to say, you might have some pretty nice glass in there, or you might take something plain. But the point is, you take that package of materials and that labor force and combine them, and you may have your own pure salvage living, tiny Texas houses, chapel to take away on your wheels, or we can probably put some together, custom, you know, with a trailer and all painted and super cool, like I'd like to do. Even with a way to roll off your little chapel and come back and get a house or parts to make more. Don't want to waste a trailer. So, second contest will be um, based on the first person winning the parts to build theirs. And the second contest we're going to have after the new year, starting in January, will be then to go ahead and to help that person who won the materials put it together. And that'll be seminars for the essay contest winners of the first time and the second time to accumulate points that they can apply toward materials for their own houses or chapels out of the vast inventories and warehouses that you'll get to explore and select from as one of the essay contestants coming to these events. You can fly into Austin, 30 minutes away, we'll pick you up, bring you in. You can stay in the houses, we'll take you back up there. That's a weekend, or a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has got some cool options. Once you're here, <clears throat> you got swimming, kayaking, fishing, a small town nearby, lots of places to go. Austin's 45 minutes away. San Antonio's 45 minutes away. Houston, thank God, is an hour and a half away. And the Gulf is an hour and a half away. So you could come here, stay a week from any country in the world and be able to go ahead and be part of this and travel a little bit and come back on the weekends. It's perfectly safe. You don't have to worry about anybody getting to you inside of Salvage, Texas. I mean, very safe. And on top of that, yes, I'm pointing it. you will be able to go ahead and smell nature, see, touch, feel, go to warehouses, be part of selecting out the materials and maybe have a chance to get a space here so you would have a house to come to whenever you want. And did you know in Texas? You could become a resident of Texas? Yeah, oh, no, no income tax. No income tax in Texas, guys. So if you had your address here and you have to travel for a business and your address was Texas, no more income tax instead of New Jersey, California, and lots of other places. So your little tiny house could be positioned in tiny Texas, not own the land, but have an interest. And if you are a charter member and don't go crazy, you could have a life estate interest, which means as long as you're alive, you come back here, you got your little house, you can stay here and be part of the community. That means help grow the garden and have the food, have the organic chickens, have all these things that you can help participate in. And when other people go away, you might be taking more care of their pets. And when you're gone, somebody's there to take care of your pets. That's the idea behind creating a an embassy, an example, a place that you can come see, experience it, and since it'd be a very limited number of people that can live here full time, I'm sure less than 40, because I can't tolerate that many people myself, and so we want to have it where you come in, you can stay, and you can leave, and there's enough people there to take care of stuff and leave. So this is not just a essay contest. This is a chance to also be a part of Salvage Texas to help get these dreams yeah dreams of a business traveling around with spiritual energy encapsulated in a structure with trees that were a thousand years old when they were cut and glass that's over a hundred years old that was hand blown when 12 year old boys pulled the coal out of the mines stocked the furnaces and by 16 they were already married and raising children journeymen blowing glass in love oh, by 40 they were nearly dead worn out 352 days a year work no time off no sick pay and if you're in Texas working in the lumber industry you got paid with tokens they were pressed by the lumber barons who did not have to pay with cash 
until they passed the law in 1934, believe it or not, they had to pay with cash. So all those people who worked before that, they didn't get paid with cash. They couldn't enter the contest. They didn't have a dollar. Now, you need a hundred dollars. Did you know that one dollar in 1900 was a lot of money? In fact, one penny in 1900 was equal to about a hundred dollars today? No. Uh, Ten dollars? So, what candy you could buy, what things you could buy with a penny in 1900, you can't buy with ten dollars today. That's spooky. But, as soon as you go to a restaurant, you figure that out. So, this is going to be a very small amount of money. A hundred dollars to enter, a hundred and fifty dollars to enter the middle class. That means you get a chance to be able to go ahead and get into the business of it, to learn how to do this, and to be able to set up your own business. If you stick it out for a few of these, you'll know everything you need to know by the third contest and you'll have accumulated enough points by helping on other seminars and by basically possibly working to build somebody else's chapel for them, mm -hmm. some money, and also be able to launch your own business. Where we supply you, we'll microfund you by providing parts and even tools if you do it here, and when you sell it, we get paid for the materials, and you get paid for your labor, and a piece of it goes to the next project. All fair. Believe me, you make lots of money. But more importantly, you'll learn how to do something so when you leave here, you'll have a business and you'll have a career. I'm 41 minutes into this. This is about as long as anybody can normally handle, but this is about life-changing stuff. Again, if you didn't see the forget-me-not chapel, once upon a time, I built Forget Me Not Chapel. The friends I had lost, including my son, in a love story. Savor the journey, well past the end. For your memories linger long past your end. Create a chapel. Maybe it's a place where you might want to bring it out. Put it on a farm or ranch when somebody passes so people can come there and honor them. Take a moment to pray. To give respect. Particularly for our elders, which I think is being lost. Of course, elders mean something I didn't know it meant. That means you're 90 or 100. When I grew up, that meant you were 50. Didn't age well in my family. 60 looked like mercy was putting you down. 70? Oh my goodness. You're hopefully still holding your marbles in one bag and you didn't have to wear a bag. And by 80, your marbles were gone. And as my mother was putting her bra on over the top of everything else, so she could still go off and attract those guys at the home, as she did all of her life, I don't want to see that happen. I want to be healthy. I want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. See? I'm going to be. Because guess what? I still got my bush. I did shave. Why? Because y'all thought I was crazy with a beard. Well, I'm not crazy. I'm just crazy about you guys. So, here's what's going on. I've actually read that to you. I use different words, but um, depending on your interest, I hope there's a lot of people that participate. Why? Because all the money is going to go back to whoever is involved. That's what this is all about. That's what it has been. I put millions and millions of dollars into tiny Texas houses, and all the videos you can watch, and all the stuff you can read has been free. I've never been monetized. I've never made any money off Facebook, off YouTube, off Twitter, off any platform. This has been for you. My gift. My son is gone. You guys are my children and my family. Trini and I have Salvage Texas here for you. She is the hostess with the mostess. An example of how you can beat multiple cirrhosis, fibromyalgia, and a brain tumor now. Yeah, naturally. Lost many, many, many pounds the most recent foray into fasting to get rid of the tumor. She's lost 
17 pounds. And also, by the way, many of the numbing effects and problems she was developing because of a tumor developing in her brain. So much we can do. We use Rife Machine, the Rife Machine by Royal Rife. And we teach this if you want to come to the seminars when you get into the contest and you're here for the weekend, you'll get to hear about this in night chats. We use green lasers, so if you have problems, I have green lasers on board. You can try them. We have high pH water that flows down from a mile of shoreline, so when it gets to Dragon's Lair, it's good water. It'll help you. It'll ground you. It'll make you feel better. So I'm 45 minutes into this, I'm about to close. If you have questions, please write something in the comments. I rarely ask. I've never even asked for people to go ahead and give me a click. Say you like what I did. Um, share. Please. I need your help. I can't do this alone. I just rebroadcast a tape from eight years ago. That's when I put everything in mothballs. Why? I was having to do it alone. So I've come back with love, with hope, with Trinity, who helped convince me that humans deserve another chance. Because there are some of you out there who really do want to make a difference. And those are the ones that I believe are going to make it through a time that I never expected to be in. And especially didn't expect to be doing splits and having the best time of my life. I want you to join me, everybody. I want you to be part of you think. Savoring, getting this all so you can have a really good time. You know, we do not reach our peak as males until 66 years old to 78. I'm running hard into 68 in October, and I'm going to be hit 70, flying better than I've ever flown, naturally. Join me. It's not that hard. It takes a little faith. It takes a little work. It takes a lot of love. You gotta love you. Look in the mirror and say I love you and don't feel like you're being conceited because you love yourself. Because until you do, guys, until you marry that masculine father's voice and that feminine, mm, perhaps not such a wonderful exercise in what a feminine should be, and get that all settled inside of you so that you can find peace. Once you find peace, you can share it, as I do with Trinity, as I do with you. Please, join me. If I'd have told you when I was trying to commit suicide at 15 years old, failing, read the Book of Wibbley. Read about love and energy like prana, just in a story, a cartoon story. Rubbles, an earthworm with a racing cap, wireframe glasses, who talks as an avatar to Darby and convinces him to come back, to live a life, to be a part of a play, a giant holographic play. Some of us call life. Now, if you're an indigo and you came in here to make things ready, guess what? The time has come. Flame on, my friends. I'm telling you what. It never gets better than to have all those conspiracies come true. And you know what? You and me. This is what we came for. Join me. Love you. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you made it this far. We're going to have a great time.